here and welcome back to our Pokemon Y Wonderlock. In the previous episode, guys, we had sadness. We may have saved the world from Team Flare and their genocidal tendencies, but we lost our Milotic, our sweet, sweet Milotic, to some absolute bullshittery. Well, I say bullshittery, it's completely my fault. I let that, um, I let that mind chow uh, set up on us. I think it had a swords dance or some shit, then it went ahead and... Just one shot us with a high jump kick, so it was completely my own fault. I shouldn't have left my Lotic in there to, to take that hit. But I thought I thought she could handle it. Or he. I kept calling her a she, but it's actually a he. Let's, let's actually respect the memory of our dead my Lotic. But as you saw we, at the end of the episode, we added Wooper to the party. And the results of the working and twerking grinding montage have been oh so kind to our Quagsire. Now, yes, the little Wooper has evolved into a Quagsire with young cursed stockpile and recover. Not really the most attacking Pokemon as of yet, but later on he's going to be an absolute monster. So we kept him in the party, giving him the lucky egg as well to get that, all that juicy experience. Next up we've got Infernape level 56, we've got Gardevoir level 58, we've got Dragon Knight level 58, we've got Cacturn level 56, and finally we've got Magnezone level 56 as well. So I think the party pretty much is looking pretty damn decent. Um, we're not over leveled, we're not under leveled. I think we're right on par. So let's go ahead and I need to make sure that we turn off the... Uh, uh, EXP share. Oh, 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 I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. We need to turn the ex EXP share off because uh, that was one of the rules we made at the start of this juicy, juicy Wonderlock all those months ago. Well, I say months ago, it wasn't really. It was uh, only really about a month and a bit ago, I think, now. And uh, we've got through the game really quickly considering um, how long it took me the very first time we did a, a Wonderlock. But I was only doing it, what, three times a week. And now we're doing it. Um, we're doing it a lot. We're doing it. I'm getting hot and heavy a lot, guys. But, oh, oh, the most important thing, the most important thing. Look at our outfit. I went to the shops and I spent some of our hard-earned money on, on some new clothes. And we look absolutely amazing. Give us a little twirl there. Oh, look at Sugar T giving us a twirl. She looks absolutely divine. I think we could do with a new haircut before the Elite Four, but... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We might not get there just yet. But let's go for a little skate here. And if I remember correctly, um, we're actually going to encounter the dear old professor. But let's go and talk to some old uh, old people first. I want to be loved. Do you have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, poor little girl. She wants to be loved. Well, get out of here. Get out of here while you still can. These old people will just tie you up and sell you as a sex slave. Oh, actually, that's not funny. I shouldn't joke about that. I love the abil uh, ability warrior on TV. I wish I had a Pokemon's ability. War protein! Give your wife some protein if you get what I'm saying. I wish that I were a Pokemon, then I could live every day with him. Oh, right, because he wants to be a Pokemon. I get you. Oh, the old couple all loved up. It's nice to see those old people getting all down and dirty and jiggy with it. Now, if I remember correctly as well, this old lady gives me some sweet traits. I have two of the TM for U-turn. Here, I'll share one with you. Thank you very much. I will not U-turn out here, perhaps. Perhaps if you liked a little bit of late... What did she just say? That guy is always changing his mind. Well, one U-turn deserves another. Oh, <laughs> she's so witty. Oh, Granny, you're so funny. Rare candy. Okay, that's going to be helpful later on in the game. I won't use it just yet, but maybe on uh, our swag sire later on might be quite a good option. We won't speak to the, the beautiful blonde there just yet because we've got some other things to be getting on with. Monsieur! Oh, it is our sweet professor. Come to tree greet us. I have to apologize to you about the lesson there. I should fucking think so too. You're his friend and he turned out to be a mass murderer or attempted mass murderer. He didn't quite go ahead with his plans thanks to Sugar Tea and the gang. Um, I am very sorry for the trouble he has caused. And I'd also like to thank you. I am sincerely grateful for what you did for all the Pokemon and people of this world. And by stopping Team Flare, you also saved lesson there. Um... I don't know how to break this to you, Professor Sycamore, but there was his... Well, <laughs> okay, there's no other way to say it. There was a massive explosion, and I think Lysander sort of was blown apart. So unless you have a Pokemon that knows the ability to reverse time, maybe Celebi can do something, but unless you have one of them, I don't know what's going on either way. He's, ba he's, he's basically mush. He's basically dog food. Houndoom food. He's probably being eaten by Ratataz as we speak, and not in a sexy way that Joey likes, um, so... Sorry about your friend, but he was a dick. He, he was a massive dick, to be honest. He was like a big throbbing cock. I always knew he, that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of people and Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. 
If someone acts out their greed in such a world, surely some will go without. If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left in the world in the end. Why, there won't even be anything left to steal, will there? But what I really wanted for him, what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though. So, I am partly responsible for this. Well, enough of that, Sugar Tea. I want you and your Pokemon to take everything you have learned from your journey and hit me with your very best shot. You went a bit poor there at the end. Hit me with your best shot. But Pat Benatar right there for you. Any 80s child out there or anybody that likes 80s music, Pat Benatar is a great option for you. Go and check him out. Anyway, I'm not promoting Pat Benatar. She doesn't need my help. Pat Benatar, if you want to promote me, I'll sing your songs for you. Um, anyway, let's get on with this. Venusaur is a very, very bad matchup for our Quagsire here. So let's switch him out real quick. And we've got the option of putting in Gardevoir or Dragon Knight. I think Dragon Knight is going to be the safer option just in case a Sludge Bomb is going to be coming our way. We do not want to be messing about with that. We've already lost three Pokemon in our journey. R.I.P. Rick Gastly. Um... Uh, Pupitar and uh, the beautiful, beautiful Milotic, um, he died in the previous episode. Multiscale has gone to Insomnia. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't think we're going to need it, but fair enough. Dragonite flew up high. Yes, we've only lost three. I kind of wanted to go through this whole journey without losing any of our Pokemon, but it happens, it happens. I make mistakes, I'm only human, and sometimes bullshittery goes against us as well with the crit hits and stuff like that. I mean... Milotic, in the previous episode, missed, what was it, three Hypnosis's, or was it two? Either way, it was an absolute bullshit what happened to us. I should have taken Milotic out of there sooner, but I didn't, and that's completely my own fault. There's nothing I can do about that, but hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I made that mistake, and I will have to, um, well, I paid. I paid the dearest price. Well, I didn't pay the price. My Milotic paid the price, but I'm probably going to keep that Milotic my, my again because it looked pretty damn decent. I've already got a competitive one, but it's always nice to have a backup just in case something goes wrong. And uh, there we go. That Blastoise has taken a decent amount of HP, um, but that we should be able to eat up the Water Pulse as long as we don't get confused. Critical hit and the confusion. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. We got crit. We got the confusion on Water Pulse. That is absolute, absolute ass cheese, Blastoise. You hacking rat! Professor Sycamore, not only does he go home and park my mother, but he also gets the hacks off. I am not, not pleased with that. But it doesn't matter, Dragon, I ate up all those hits and managed to break through the confusion and uh, hit that Blastoise with a beautiful extreme speed. Threes all round, level 59! And we're gonna come in with a Charizard, which Charizard... Will this guy know any flying moves? I don't know, but I'm gonna take out our Dragonite because we don't really need him in just now. Who's going to be good? Mm. What will Charizard do here? Charizard's here. Dragonite's probably our best bet, to be honest. I'm just going to... I'm going to try and go for the extreme speed. Hopefully we can break through the confusion again. Please, Dragonite. Please, Dragonite. Please, Dragonite. Please. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of course you're dead. Right, go for the flamethrower. That's fine. That's not going to be very effective on us because of our typing. But it still takes off a decent amount of damage. Look at everybody flapping about in here. Look at them all flapping about. Um, and it's going to be good. But yes, guys. Ooh, Halloween season upon us. It's less than a week to Halloween now, which is absolutely fantastic. So make sure your butts are prepared. Because this week, maybe you've seen some of the horror things that I've already got coming towards you already. Um, breakthrough confusion. Oh, please play, break through confusion. Don't hit yourself. There we go. Thank fuck. Ooh, baby. Yes, we've got a lot of Halloween stuff coming up this week on the channel, so make sure you stick around for that. We've got some very, very exciting Pokemon slash horror games. We've also got some horror games coming to the channel again because now, as you know, we are horror slash Pokemon channel, so it's nice to get the, the two combined into one sexy combination because you know... How much I love the sexy games on this channel. Anyway, you really are something. You and your Pokemon have developed strong bonds by spending time together and caring about one another. That's why you and your Pokemon are so strong. Oh, there we go. There's, look, look at that outfit. There we go. Our outfit is on point. We've got a new flower. It's pink. We've got the, the nice blue and the new blue bag. we pretty much got everything. I wish... Wish we could accessorize our bangle because it just does not look, go with the rest of our clothes. The strength you found is simply marvelous and you truly love and trust your Pokemon. 
Sugar tea, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town. No, I'm not down there, but I like your thinking. Uh, if you'd like to try and find it, well, I'll be off then. I have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned, or should I say a big surprise planned, for all of you to thank you for fighting Team Flair and saving Kalos. Reva, sugar tea. Well, thank you very much. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center real quick and heal up our Pokemon. Um, if I remember correctly, we have got a couple of Pokemon that we can go ahead and wonder trade. And uh, hopefully we get something good in return. I think our party is probably going to be pretty much settled. Um... For the end of the game, because I mean, for the next gym, the next gym's ice, so we've already got our uh, beautiful Kakarot, which is a, a nice and powerful blade. Uh, Pokemon Pitch Black? Is that the game? I think it was. Pokemon Pitch Black Egglog we made, and uh, somebody sent in a uh, an Infernape, which uh, was named uh, Kakarot as well, so we've got Kakarot for the next gym, which is going to be a fantastic move. Um, and, uh, yeah, as long as we don't lose anybody, I think our party's looking pretty good. We're, we've got a lot of the bases covered in, um, in what we're doing. So hopefully, 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 hopefully we won't lose anybody else. And we can uh, go ahead and successfully, successfully go ahead and destroy, um, all the, 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 the remaining challenges of this game. So, Punkaboo wants to use Frisk, and you can take my lucky egg all you want. So, we've got a ghost here. We could do with some kind of ice moves, or fire moves would actually be pretty damn good. Infernape, you're up, son. You're up. Kakarot. Speaking of Kakarot, here we go. Infernape. Anyway, guys, let's move on to question of the day. As always, the questions are submitted by all you beautiful bastards out there. So, if you have a question you would like to ask me for the next episode, pop that down in the comment section below. So, today's question is... Today's question is by... How the hell do you say that? Hold on a second. Blaze kick. Is by v Venquine R. Is it Venquine R? Apologies if I've totally butchered your name there. Venquine R. And he slash she asks, If it becomes possible in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which other region would you like to travel to? So, if there's an option of uh, extra traveling in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where would I like to go? I think... I would love to go back to Ka Kanto, the very first place, Gen 1, let's go back to where it started, where it all started, imagine seeing those towns in 3D, I mean, come on, going along, seeing Lavender down in 3D, the, the Pokemon Tower, seeing all these amazing places in 3D, I would love, I would love to see Sabrina in 3D, with that whip, I mean, you can't. You can't judge me for that. You can't. You just you just can't judge me for, for thoughts like that, because it's got to be absolutely amazing, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, the challenges, all the team rock, I'd love to see Giovanni in 3D, I'd love to see all the gyms in 3D, I would love to see every single part of Kanto in 3D, I think it would be absolutely fantastic. It is my favourite, like Gen 1, I absolutely love it, and I love all the, most of the ROM hacks out there, like Fire Red and stuff like that, it's because they're fucking brilliant games, they're really, really good, obviously, they're quite easy to, uh, um, what do you call it, well, edit and mould and all that, um, but if... If, if we manage to go back to Kalos, I don't think we will in the next game because I think they'll probably want to save that for another time because Kanto is, um, the, I think I just said Kalos a second ago, but Kanto is the original and people will buy that game. People will buy the shit out of that. If they, have, if they announce tomorrow that a day after Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was coming out, they would bring out Gen 1 Remake, people would buy it. People, if people just bought... Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. People go out and buy the, the new games, whatever it would be. Uh, the, the, Zelda Red or B Beta Blue, I don't know. Um, but people would go out and buy them because they're so... The, the games are so damn popular, they're beautiful, they're they're physically pleasing, and it's where it started, it's where the whole damn journey started, I mean, come on, people would love to see all these things, especially Sabrina, like I just said, but all the gyms as well, I love what they're doing with the gyms in XY and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, the next game that they bring along after that will look even better, and so imagine you could go back to Kanto and do all of the same things that you're doing in Pokemon X and Y, it would be absolutely, oh, it would just be so, oh, it would be so beautiful. Anyway, we caught a shell now, which means I think we've got three, 
We've got three Pokemon that we can go ahead and Wonder Trade. So we're already on 14 minutes-ish, including the work and working grinding session. So I think well, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start Wonder Trading those. Uh, what I'll probably do is two now, and I'll save the Shelmet for the next episode. So we've got another one in the in the next episode to be going on with. Then I'll do a little bit of a work and twerking grinding montage, because there's a few traders around here. Let's get Quagsire up to a sustainable level. And then I think we've got loads of rival battles to be getting on with in the next episode. Guys, if you're enjoying today's episode and you're hyped for the end of this series, although... Can you really say you're hyped for the end of the series? But I'm overly hyped for completing the challenge. Then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Anyway, let's jump in here and get Wonder Traded. So, are they in box two? No, they are not. Now, let's remember who is ours and who is not. Salty Raz. There we go. That is one. And why have I called it Salty Raz? Because I am damn salty that we lost our Pupitar. Damn salty. We've lost three Pokemon. We've lost Rick Gastly. Absolute power. We could have had a Mega Gengar. Then we lost Pupitar. We could have had a Mega Tyranitar. And then third, we lost fucking Milotic, who was just an absolute boss as well. And we needed a water Pokemon. Luckily, we had a Quagsire to fill the spot, but it wasn't good enough. Mega Milotic. It's going to happen at some point. I know it. It's going to happen at some point. In fact, every single Pokemon is going to get a Mega at some point. Anyway, double kick, double battle K by Matty Australia. Get eye, mate. Matty, what was it? I, I, that was a fucking terrible Australian accent. Of all the accents I can do, Australian is not one of them. Anyway. Miley Cyrus has just joined the battle. Look at that tongue. If this was near the start of the game, I would definitely put that guy in the party. Just because of the, the, the funniness, the, the epicness of having a licky tongue in the party might be pretty damn funny. But I'm not going to pop it in the party. Not unless we have a death. I mean, we've still got... We've still got Ziggy Stardust waiting in the wings, waiting for an opportunity to jump in the party and claim his rightful spot since he's been with us from the beginning, but... I'm sorry, Ziggy. I'm sorry. We just don't need you. And here is the, the Durant here, RY. Let's uh, let's have a look at the Lick Tongue real quick, see if he's been bred up. His level one is Quirky Um Templar. He's got that sweet, sweet Lick move. If I remember, Quirky is a... Uh... A neutral nature. Anyway, let's go ahead and trade out this Durant. Hopefully we'll get something sexy in return. And then we'll end off the episode there. As I said, the next episode is going to have a working and twerking grinding montage. So make sure you are limbered up and ready to go for that. Unfortunately, this series is going to be finished really soon. I mean, we're going to be taking on the gym in, say, three episodes time. Not the next one, because we're going to be taking on the rivals. Probably the next one after that. Maybe two episodes time, we're going to be taking on the gym. Then we've only really got... I'll, I'll do the whole of Victory Road in a working and twerking ranking montage. Then I'll probably split up the uh, the E4 into two, three, maybe. I think I'll probably split it into three episodes. Um, maybe, no, nah, I'll probably be three. I don't think I'll do four, but it all depends. Because um, I might split it into four. Because then there'll be just short, sharp little episodes. And then we can have something else later on in the day. Maybe some more poker draw. You guys seem to be enjoying that. A ditto. I think we've already got a ditto. I think we already do. Let me just dub double check that. Let me double check that. But yeah, um, and then that'll be the series over. So might, potentially by the end of next week, the series might be over. And then we'll just be concentrating on a couple other things, a uh, short series, and um, before Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire comes out. So yes, we do already have a dip. We have this guy down here, Gentle Limber. And this guy's got Quick Powder. So um, let's just trade him back out with a Quick Powder. We don't need that. Um... Because I think it only works on on the ditto anyway. So we'll send this guy out and then we're going to end off the episode there. But yeah, I can't believe this series is going to be over. The support has been absolutely fantastic on it. I mean, since it started, we've gained over. Well, we're over 10,000 subscribers now, which is fantastic. We've um, created the horror channel around the... We've sort of gone into the horror genre as well, which is fi uh, fantastic as well. Why not Zoidberg? Why not Zoidberg, Michael, United Kingdom, England? Hello, Michael! I think you're on the school holidays just now, so it's nice to see that you're spending your time wisely and playing some Pokemon. X oh, Froakie. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like that. Please, please, Michael, have sent it over with protein. That would be brilliant if you have. That would be absolutely brilliant if you have. But it doesn't matter, because we've got Quagsire in the party. If anything was to happen to Swagsire, good old Quagmire, then we might consider that Froki. But anyway, guys, we're going to end off the episode right there. If you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button. If you think our outfit is on point and us, we're looking absolutely fantastic, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And remember to answer the question of the day down in the comments section below. If you have one for next time, 
pop it down there too. Remember, the t-shirts are still on sale as well, so go ahead and get one of them reserved if you want to join in the Razbowski sexy action. But either way, guys, I've been Razbowski, you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!